It was just another day in Kamurocho. After resolving a local incident, Kaito is approached by Kyoya Sadamoto, who asks him to search for his late wife Mikiko. Mikiko was Kaito's old flame, who parted ways with him long ago. Kaito turns Sadamoto down before any past wounds can reopen. But he soon finds himself face to face with Sadamoto's son, June. That's when June tells him the unthinkable. That Kaito might be his real father. Back in the day, the Matsugane family was on real bad terms with a rival. Like waiting for all-out war to kick off bad. One day, I got a call from the office saying they need me right away. So of course I hauled ass over. Hey! What's the situation? Some lady busted in here. It seems like she means business. Huh? You called me over some lady? Not just any lady. A real hellcat. Says she ain't leaving till the boss gets back. Look. I'm not messing around! Oh, for the love of God, it hurts! You crazy bitch! Listen up! You lay a finger on Maho, I'll snap his arm clean off! Uh, hey, sis! This is bad! It's real bad! Hey! What the hell? Am I seeing this right? Why is Hoda getting his ass whipped? I take it this gorilla is your muscle? You gonna try me or beat your chest? You're the one calling me a gorilla? <laughs> Guys, what the fuck happened? It all started with the girl on the floor. She racked up quite a bill at one of our host clubs, but when the check came, she couldn't settle. We were gonna have to work it off at a cabaret club, but... This chick busted it and went fucking ballistic. What? Wait. How exactly is any of this our fault? You tell me, man. I wash my hands of it. You're running the cabaret club starting next month. You deal with this shit. Oh, come on. Hey, Hoda. Let's hear your side. She barged in here out of nowhere and came straight at me. Out of nowhere, my ass. I had to do something. For real? You two have to get your story straight. You do. Fuck, I don't know. She just burst in the office and told us to give her her sister. Hang on. So her sister was already here? Yeah. She was supposed to start working at one of our cabaret clubs. But when this one busted in the door, she was already demanding to see the boss. When I said he wasn't here, she yelled at us to call him and let her wait in his office. Obviously, talking to you assholes won't get me anywhere. What have we here? Take another step and his arm goes snap like a twig! You gonna find out if I'm lying? No, 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 I hear you. Let's try and simmer down a bit, shall we? Is this it?
This right here. Hey, what happened here? Uh, well, it happened so fast. Why does nobody know what happened? Was it nap time in the office or something? Fine. Guess I'll have to take a look around and make the call myself. Let's see. Is it? I could have met a foxy lady like you outside of here. What? Tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna take you to the finest bar in town. And we can hash this all out over drinks. Oh, and I've got just the place in mind. It's real cozy. Just try hitting on me again. Oh, sorry. Let's see. This right here. What's making that smell? Is this it? This right here. What have we here? I see what's going on here, Mikiko Natsume. I figured a gal wouldn't bust in here without reason. If anything, you and your sister are the victims. Well, here and now. Not for the host club stuff.
Huh? I'm saying these jerk-offs never learn their hospitality. I'd like to apologize for the rough reception. Okay. What's your angle here? I know you didn't come here just to drag your sister off and leave her dead unpaid. At the very least, I'm sure snapping off limbs wasn't your first intention. You see this? You're the one who brought those sweets, right? <laughs> that alone tells me breaking Hoda's arm wasn't your plan A. Well, well. Guess you're the smartest ape of the bunch. So what? Well, I can also tell how your negotiations broke down. The evidence is right here in front of me. I'd say this is what did it. Huh? That's just my resume. What's so problematic? Well, weren't you trying to talk your way into the family? Gotta admit. It is a bit far out. Never heard of a Lady Yakuza before. Uh... I'm guessing when Hoda tried showing you the door, you snapped, right? Though, to be honest, he was probably just doing you a favor. I mean, clearly you know how to handle yourself. But we deal with some real rough characters here. I don't want to scare you. But you can imagine some of the worst things that could happen. And without any legal recourse to back you up? Trust me, you're better off as a civvy. Are you seriously that stupid? You are, aren't you? Wait, you mean you're not? Oh, oh I see. In that case, I'm pretty sure I know what set this powder keg off. was your sister. Look how her top got messed up. Even though you kicked things off polite, it seems Hoda got hands-on at some point. Which explains why you got him crying uncle in his own office. <laughs> not bad for a Yakuza. You sure you're not a detective in disguise? <laughs> if they ever kick me out, I may just consider it. But listen, Son. You have to admit, your sister is partly responsible. If you're gonna play, you gotta pay. It's just basic business, you see? I know how business works, and I never said we wouldn't pay you back. Okay, then what's the issue? The issue is, Maho's enrolled in college back home. If she ends up stuck as some hostess in Tokyo, she may as well kiss her education goodbye. I just want to see her graduate, find a career, and live a happy life. Can't your parents loan you the cash to get her out of this? No way! They'd freak if they knew I went to host clubs, let alone got into debt over one! Well, that part's all on you. Look, I get it with you people. Three million yen is a lot. I actually came to discuss repayment. But then this douchebag grabs my sister like some barbarian! God, uh, I only did it because your sister got shitty with me! Then, Mikiko-san, what's your real plan here? You got a lead on three mil somehow? Well, I work in Shinjuku. Just a desk job during the day. But my nights are pretty much free. And in college, I worked as a server. I even got employee of the month a few times. Now, I know I've never been a hostess. Be that different. At the very least, I'm a lot more qualified than my sister. Wait, are you saying? I'm saying I'll work for you instead. I'll even give you a start date. How's that for basic business? And that's how I met Mikiko. She was just so headstrong and full of personality. That tenacity of hers pushed her to the top in no time. Not to mention, she was a real ball buster. She'd take it upon herself to punish bad customers. And, since it was my job to look after her, 
I'd step in when things got ugly. Which happened a lot. So this Mikiko chick's covering for her sister. Not a bad plan. It's rare to see someone go that far. Even for flesh and blood. Apparently, a car crash took their parents out when they were little. That was their only family. After that, they were lucky enough to get foster parents. Seems they're one big happy family now. Interesting. But is the boss gonna be cool with a swap? Says he doesn't see an issue. Long as we get paid. Fair enough. Just make sure she doesn't skip town and make it an issue, Anaki. Nah, <sighs> she won't be a problem. Rough as she is, her heart's in the right place. You know the rules. No touching, no exceptions. Oh, come on. I am a pay customer. Who are you to tell me what to do? And who are you to feel up our staff? Nothing gives you that right. It's okay, Nikiko. Really. But let's just go inside. I'm handling it, Momokotan. Be kicking this chick to the curb or what? Yeah! Curb stomper if you have to! Call you back later, Higashi. Break time's over. Uh, uh, uh Anaki? on tonight. Start with me. You heard that, boys? This fucking bastard! Take him down! Sorry. I just couldn't let them get away with what they did. No problem. Your safety is my job. <laughs> then I guess I'm in good hands, Mr. Bodyguard. Yo, what's with your office? No guns, no family crest? This place is lame. Oh, for the last time, I'm out of that life. This is the detective agency I work at now. Oh, yeah. Whoops. But damn, it's grody in here. You guys never clean up? Kid, just take a seat, will ya? My name's June, not Kid. Hey. That's... Something your pops forgot to take home. Huh. Weird. 
Anyway, where are we at so far? Oh, yeah. You were saying you're my kid. You know, you could call me your son, since that's what I am and all. <sighs> Look, just tell me what you know, all right? Uh, about your mom. Your pops filled me in on some of the details. Said something about how she might even still be alive. Yeah, it always seemed off to me. I just can't imagine her taking her life. But the DNA test said it was her, right? Feels like the odds of a mistake are pretty low. <sighs> I think Mom got caught up in some deep shit. Deep shit? As in... I don't know. But I think her suicide and the DNA test were faked. She's gotta be out there somewhere. As for why she can't get in touch, maybe she just can't. You sound like you thought this through. Any idea what happened? <sighs> maybe something went wrong at work. Or she got kidnapped by some criminals. <sighs> Doesn't sound all that convincing. But now that you mention it, your dad did say she might have been anxious on the job. What did she do for work? Oh, she ran a cafe. Her cafe. No kidding. Did she run it all by herself? Yeah, she was doing real good too. She knows how to handle people. That's for sure. Though with her personality, I can also see her making a few enemies. Well... She would have bad customers from time to time. There were also these people who tried to buy her out. But I can't think of anyone who'd want her dead, you know? So, you think you're my son? And it says this in your mom's diary? Yeah, she writes everything in that diary. This one she wrote 15 years ago, I think. It was right after the two of you broke up. What exactly did she write? Um, stuff like... I don't know if I should keep it. I'll never see Masaharu-san again. I should get this taken care of, though. Oh, hell of a thing for you to read. Honestly, I get how she must have felt. After all, the man she loved walked out of her life and into a life-or-death situation. How could she marry and have a kid when her husband could get killed at any moment? Yeah. Tragic, ain't it? Then she decided to listen to her parents and marry the guy we all thought was my dad instead. But at some point between your breakup and their marriage, she found out she was pregnant. That's probably why you never got word of it. Uh, okay. Uh, for the sake of argument, Let's say you are my kid. That means your dad got married, knowing your mom was carrying another man's child? I guess so. Yeah. He's really the type who'd commit like that? Could be. Maybe he was just that into her. I mean, sure, but, uh... June, you said your name was. What kind of mom has Mikiko been to you? What kind of mom? I guess I'd say she's been pretty cool. She's been... cool? Yeah. Like, she would always lend a hand to someone in trouble. Even if it was some nasty flirt or a big hulking thug, she'd get right in his face and tell him off. A couple of times, she almost threw down right in front of us. Dad would freak out big time. <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyway, are you gonna help me find my mom or what? Remember, I am a professional here. That means I get paid to work. And I doubt you can afford my services. <laughs> oh, I think I've got that covered. <laughs> what? You gonna pay me in... Watches? 
I swiped it when my dad wasn't looking. Hmm, sure is a nice piece of work. How much do one of these run? About 20 mil, give or take. Wait, how much? 20 million yen, man. Ha! <laughs> 20 mil for this? Fat chance. I've seen shit just like this a block over for only 30k. <laughs> you mean to tell me some idiot coughs up 20 mil to check the time? Never bullshit a bullshit kid. Don't believe me? Look it up. The brand's right there. Okay. How do you even pronounce this? <laughs> Bet it's some knockoff. Uh, huh? Holy shit! Damn thing's over 19 million! Is this part of some vintage collection? Nope, that's just the standard model. Dad's got a ton of them lying around, too. Uh, really? How long would it take to earn that? What was that about being a bullshitter? <sighs> so here's the deal, old man. I give you the watch, you go find my mom. What? Not good enough? It's not yours to give in the first place. Put it back where it belongs. You're really gonna say no because of that? I'm leaving to go find Mikiko. You coming? Oh, man. You can call me Kaito, not man. Ah, you got it, Kaito! So, where do we start? Kamurocho's not exactly a small place. There was this one spot your mom used to go all the time. Cafe Alps, it's called. Yeah, I remember. There she'd be. Sipping on coffee, reading a book. No noise from the city to bother her. Okay, and you think she might have went back there? Only one way to find out. <laughs> 